Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Gemini and Virgo, the relationship. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what is going on with this union. Yeah, something. Yeah, something. Okay, we're going to get into it. Um, I don't know. I don't know how long this read is going to be. It seems pretty simple, but I feel like it might be a little complicated. Not complicated, but I would say wordy. Why did I pull these? I was trying to figure out if I should pull these or these, which is love, and then this is stuff, but the color scheme, I feel like those go better, but this is really not about, hey, I picked them up first. I'll pull love. Hmm. What's going on, please, in this relationship with Gemini? All right, give me your individual energy, Gemini, please, in this feeling, in this relationship with Virgo. I got to... I gotta get used to doing all the other things. Give me your energy, please, Gemini. Gemini, feel scattered energy. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like you can't. I don't know. You know how things just aren't in sync, or things seem a little like like, like I threw it right in the trash can. How did I miss that? Something like that, right? So like a little feeling of off balance. Not like mentally, but literally like physically. Some of you guys might feel a little bit off balance or something like that. Give me your energy, Gemini. Give me your energy. And this, okay, there we go. I'm going to take it. it I did. Man. All right. Good thing is I didn't look at it yet either. Let's see what we got. Resoluteness? Hold on. Hold on. Let me pull my chair up. Should I be complicated? Resoluteness. Something with determination. Ooh. You're determined to do something. No compromising. You ain't going to be compromising on nothing. You have an unwavering focus. There's some sort of inner resolve, something that needs to be done. It also says integrity, right? So you're not compromising with integrity. This is a test of your character, Gemini. It says self-examination. You're reflecting. Reflection, assessment, control, seven. Listen, along with that, this is you completing something, gaining some sort of knowledge about a situation and ideals that you have had or have and they changed or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Gemini, give me your energy. Oh, hold on. Y'all might have some, some things. You like. You could be rethinking some ideas, right? Some old, I don't want to say old ideas. I don't ever want to say that, but some ideas are outdated. I mean, if we, you know, look at technology and things like that, some things are outdated, but I feel like this is more emotional, right? Something that's outdated, something that you can't, it doesn't serve you anymore. It does not serve me. It doesn't serve my freedom. It doesn't something. Give me more Gemini. Mm. Okay, it fell. Gemini, there's something here. Let's take a look. Opposition. There's something with the opposition. I don't know if you feel like you're losing against the opposition. Some of you guys are giving up on something or you need to. It says here that at some point this opposition, because it did come out reverse, right? So you may have been in conflict with a group perhaps, or maybe you didn't want to take some kind of action towards something or you did, but this card comes out reversed. So I'm going to say that there's some conflict with the group here. I'm also going to say that there's something that you failed to do complete master. You can't move. You didn't do something. The movement wasn't in the right direction. It was opposition, something like that. Let's see what it means here, right? Opposite viewpoints, differences with people. There was a communication gap, right? So something didn't translate, if you will. Disharmony, misunderstandings, estrangement, alike viewpoints. I don't know. Personal sameness, personal viewpoints, the same thing again. No communication gap, no disharmony, no misunderstanding, no estrangement, right? So you're still in contact with whoever this is. There's still something that you're trying to get done. Something that is outstanding, perhaps. Somebody's going to try and say something was a misunderstanding when they were determined to do something and they stayed still. They did what they wanted to do. Right? Against the opposition. You went and did whatever you wanted to do. Give me more, please. Mm. Self-examination. It looks like you were there. 
I feel like you guys might have been balanced at one point, Gemini. Gemini, give me your energy, please, in this relationship with Virgo. All right. This card is coming out reversed here. Hang on. Retreat. Perhaps somebody took a trip. Again, this is with a group of people here. We have threes. It could have been six people who went on a trip somewhere. Look at how beautiful. It could be Africa. Could have been anywhere. Egypt, I don't know. Wherever. Right? Somebody may have taken a trip somewhere. There was something where somebody failed to leave in time. Somebody was trying to take a, a timely departure from a situation. I wanted to leave in time. I wanted to get out of this sooner than I did. Gemini, this is your energy. I should have got out of it sooner than I did or something like that. A timely departure, needing to let go. Some sort of withdrawal, reevaluation again. It keeps going into you thinking. I'm examining myself, right? So we have that. Retirement is coming up for you guys here. Retreat, 33. Don't hesitate to walk away. Whatever that's about for you. I feel like this is something that you're coming to grips with is peace. It is memories of the past. It is memory of better times, good times, but it is past. The cards say, do not hesitate to walk away. All right, so we got that. Some of you guys are being advised to walk away from this relationship with Virgo for whatever reason, whatever it is. Hang on, guys. I feel like this is a pretty heavy energy, too. It's a very heavy energy because I feel like it's something that you guys like or love or something like that. And I feel like there's reluctance to walk away from something. But I don't know if it's... It could be ego. I don't know. No, no, it turns. I hate when that happens. But hey, it's happening. We'll get them. Give me... Okay. Okay. Biting through. So if we go back to this card for you and this energy with this relationship, you letting go, you withdrawing, you evaluating something... You being advised, right? Don't hesitate to walk away. You guys could be going into retirement here. It does say biting through. This is something where you're trying to find harmony in this situation or resolve to a problem. I'm trying to find harmony with it, balance. That there's something that I have to do. You're being advised to take decisive action. Restore order. This is force applied with sensitivity. That means that you're going to do what you have to do. You're going to move forward forcefully but it's going to be sensitive so you're going to have that nice balance right there's going to be some justice given tenacious devotion to a task i feel like whatever this is you guys are now doing something you there you devoted to something at this time <clears throat> you're devoted to giving somebody or something justice whatever this is i don't know but there's something either somebody's giving you justice or you're giving somebody justice all right. Now, for some of you, there's something with justice with a group because this is a three. This is about growing something, maybe changing something, expressing something. Some of you guys have something that you want to say or somebody has something to say to you. All right. That could be Virgo. Virgo might have something to say to you. Virgo, give me your energy in this relationship with Gemini. What do we got? Oh, that hurts me so bad. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. Let me get some coffee. Don't ask me what time it is. I have no idea. Literally, I have no idea what time it is. It doesn't matter. I had to make the donuts, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, please don't block my YouTube page. Thank you. Thought I'd throw it out there. Virgo, give me your energy. Yeah, Virgo and Gemini. Don't block my YouTube page, right? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> just saying. Virgo. Okay. Virgo comes out reversed here. Discipline. Oh, Virgo. Did you not have discipline? The inability to discipline oneself. It looks like you don't get a new beginning in something. It's something about a spark that disappeared. Sparks disappeared. Hmm. There's a decision that needs to be made about something. For some of you guys, again, there's not going to be any potential in this union, this relationship, or whatever it is. Possibly. Or this is what your energy is now. Let's take a look and see what the card says. It says, exert authority. Some of you guys are not disciplined enough to exert that authority, right? And define. 
it's time to take the bull by the horns and create a strategy. So some of you guys are not creating a strategy. Strategy. Some of you guys are not moving. There's something about stagnancy. You can't do anything. You can't move. There's something where you can't move forward. No creativity. Boring. Something like that, right? Mobilized forces. There's this inability to mobilize forces, right? So you can't bring something together at this time. It looks like there's something or this relationship you can't bring it together. You can't get the force behind it that you said you could whenever you did this with Gemini or whatever happened here, right? Your people ain't show up no more because by the time you got through with all 30 of them or 40, how many many you had, you already had a bad financial reputation. Isn't that right, ma'am, sir? Just saying, right? Your money was already effed up with these people. So by the time John and I got involved, I don't know if that was last resort. So you ain't tell the whole story. We have something about access, right? So you're under a ton of stress. It actually does show up in your read again here, right? Um, you guys are under a ton of stress here. It says that there's something with overload, right? Exhausted. You are obsessed with something. Whatever this situation is, you're obsessed with it. It also says here, gluttony. You want too much burdens, worries, and you're at your breaking point, right? So there's some overindulging maybe that excess overindulging that now you're regretting there's something where you're at your breaking point where you can't take it anymore right the stress is coming the stress is there i feel it what's up i'm looking i'm trying to see what what that is a card because the thing is they're upside down now so I'm reverse <clears throat> virgo give me your energy in this relationship with gemini please This card came up reverse, guys. Healing together. I think you'll be healing apart. It says something. <laughs> it says something about union. This is what's supposed to be union, cooperation, solidarity, membership, part of a team, participation, and making a choice. Virgo, it says you bailed on something, right? Or you promised something and didn't get done. Now, for some of you guys, this was inaction. You couldn't get something to move, couldn't get it to change. Your spark ran out, something like that. This says something about you not moving, inaction, but it's reversed here. So, healing together, holding together. No, that's not going to happen. It's just, you're not holding it together. This, no. I don't know, at least where you starting to read, No. But I guess where you are now, right now, there's something where you know you can't heal something or hold something together, right? Can't heal something with somebody. And that's what I'm going to keep that because that's what I felt and that's what I thought I saw. And it makes sense. It's something like that. So holding it together, holding together union. There's something that's falling apart for you guys. This union or business partnership that you guys were cooperating in is gone. There's no solidarity. Somebody's kicked out. Somebody's not a member anymore. <laughs> There's no teamwork, or at least there's no successful teamwork, because the cards do say the work that was done was low quality, lazy. It did refer to the work as sloppy, whatever that is, right? Something about participation, the inability to get people to move. Too many lies, owe too many people money, nobody will give you any. They ain't got none anyway, so everybody broke. That's from the rich to the poor. <laughs> I'm kidding. Nah, y'all broke too. Don't play. Anyway, because if you weren't, you wouldn't be doing all this effery to steal money. I'm just saying, right? Right? Tell me I'm lying. I'm just saying. Anyway, making a choice, participation. Some of you guys refuse to make a choice in a situation. You know you can't hold something together, but you continue to go on. It's almost like this stubborn energy. Your stubbornness gets in the way of you moving forward. That's what the text says. Don't ask me how I remember that. I'm read every day. Give me more. I want one more. Give me the common energy between these two. Biting through. One is running to bite through and the other one is not. So Gemini, have you fighting for this or running to get through something? You want to restore order in this situation, in this scenario? Whatever this is about. Relationship, business partnership. Did I only pull three? I only pulled three. Hold on. Let me get one more for Virgo. Something that you can't hold together. Give me more for Virgo, please. going Gemini what's going on this is a fertility card somebody's somebody something oh geez let me take a look right heredity 
Somebody can't cover up somebody's heredity anymore. Somebody could be denying blood bonds. It could be some paternity thing that somebody's denying, something like that. Kindred spirits. Maybe you guys don't get along. Maybe you just don't mesh. Maybe your family that don't like each other. Some of you guys do not even know that your family ancestry. Somebody's hiding it. Home life. There's something about ancestry and home life. Something with the community. Somebody. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, intimate relationships. Our human family. Somebody has sex with somebody and they don't want anybody to know it. This is something in the family. Somebody's family is covering up something. Somebody's trying to keep fighting to cover up something. Mm. And it's something with heredity. Now, if I had to take a look at this, somebody's trying to hide that there was a two becomes a three. So, how can I explain this? There's some family growth. That's because somebody had a kid. That's the best way to put it. Right? And I feel like nobody wants anybody to know. That's why it's reversed. It's about having knowledge of something when it's a seven. The completion, solutions, knowledge. They don't want people to know about this. Somebody's covering up a kid had, maybe between you two, or somebody, yeah. I think somebody's covering up a kid. Hold on. Uh. I'm covering up a kid. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't going to pull this one, but it did fall out at the same time. Maintain a low profile. Look inward. Caution. Moderation. Difficulty. Self protection subdue your brilliance meaning subdue your brilliance means shut up for now don't you say nothing about whoever this child is don't you say nothing you better not that means i got to give up my butt i got to do the all right that one was weird at the end of the day, even with all the folly, I still like, I feel feel like somebody lied to somebody about something, about some money. <clears throat> Gemini, let's go ahead and get right into it, right? Let me have some coffee, because that's the only thing. I don't want to say it's the only thing keeping me going. I have a lot keeping me going. I do, actually. Believe it or not, guys, I'm busy from the minute I wake up until literally the minute I go. And I love it. I don't find, I don't know. Anyway, so, Gemini... In this relationship with Virgo, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It comes out reversed for you. This is you having some financial issues, uh, Gemini. It says here that some of you guys could be suffering something with a broken relationship. For some of you guys, you needed to take up a hobby or you should. The cards say that you guys uh, can't grow if you're sitting on the couch. Literally, that's what it says. Also, we have, besides broken marriage... We have somebody going into foreclosure. You guys could have had kids that left home with the empty nest syndrome. Something with foreclosure, money problems. This has to do with property. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is reversed here. This is causing some kind of family conflict with this Ten of Pentacles reversed. Or you just can't get something to grow in your life. Something like that, right? I don't know if this is about business or something like that. I feel like this has to do with business a little bit. However... In the relationship with the Six of Cups here, you guys have these feelings connected to the past. So I feel like, Gemini, you may have been having some money issues. Maybe you needed a way out. Perhaps you reached out to a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, your Virgo that you're in a relationship with. Or this could be another Virgo. Now, we do have the Six of Cups that comes up, right? Now, with this card, there's something about feelings from the past that do come up. You feel calm and collected because you just feel that way, right? You're cool with it. But it says something about happy memories that you once have. I don't know. You had some memories with somebody. This is because this makes me feel like it's love or some emotion behind it. But this is nostalgia. Something about reunions and innocence. So whoever this is, maybe they were a pure soul. Maybe they were innocent. But this is also about reunions. And as we take a look at the Six of Cups in the text. Once happy memories that you have with somebody. Gave you some beneficial skills. It also says that you were able to acquire some contacts that you were able to reach out to later on. So we see that. As you met with these contacts here, whoever these people are, take it how it resonates, guys. Whoever these people are, they were able to talk to you and make you an offer about a future scheme. Now, please keep in mind with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. 
this is family conflict. This is something having to do with money, stagnancy. You can't grow. And we're going to take a look at this. Yep. Hold on. I was going to check this. Yep. We already covered that. Yeah. So you guys are already having some issues with foreclosure. So whoever this business contact was or person you were involved with from the past, this person, is, this person has been in the picture before. All right. For some of you guys, maybe you have these romantic feelings, but they feel more nostalgic. This person is able to help you move something where you can get more of a financial, I don't know, balance on yourself. Right. So maybe you guys were trying to get some extra income or something like that. Whatever this is, you guys met up with this person. It says that this person was a friend or an acquaintance. Acquaintance part sounds shady, but that's what's coming up for some future schemes. So we see that. This Knight of Swords energy comes up. Now with that card, it says here that you're under attack. Isn't that funny? You come up with this future scheme with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then after this happens, this future scheme planning where the offer was made, I believe that you accepted this offer. Now the offer could be, because we have the Knight of Swords here, it could be something where you are on the attack. I don't know if you guys are responding to something or if you're on the attack because you connected with somebody from the past who offered you a scheme to get something clear. Knight of Swords here. On the attack, bad news about money. This money that you get, Gemini, in this read, it's about you or somebody who's close to you. You guys are having violent differences. Some of you guys could be arguing, fighting, and cursing, and swearing, and sending messages, texts. You could be doing all types of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. You guys could be doing... It's cursing and swearing, going back. They're nasty messages. And people are forcefully saying whatever it is they want to say. Forcefully. Uh, yelling and screaming your thoughts, right? So that's the kind of energy that was either paid and sent to you to resolve some financial issues or... It looks like, Gemini, after you went into this business deal with the future scheme, <laughs> I don't know if they did the okey-doke on you or something because it says here that you got some bad news about money. It's related to you or somebody close to you. Now, that could be this Virgo. Some of you guys have bad news about money because of a Virgo. Whatever this is about. Now, there's some sort of conflict that comes in, violent differences, angry news. It also says here that you guys were yelling nasty, evil thoughts. But then we go into Virgo. Virgo, Nine of Swords, comes up. There's obviously some tension here. The tension has to do maybe with finances, all right? Maybe the fact that somebody's in foreclosure or foreclosure. And then we have Gemini saying, like, why is it? How, why am I in foreclosure? Like, can you tell me why? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra Aquarius or another Gemini, right? Why am I? Why is this in foreclosure? Like you're asking a question here. It causes some kind of tension and unhappiness. There's something with you guys suffering, Virgo. So Gemini is like asking you questions, but you're like suffering inside. Let's take a look. It says here that you are in this energy because you're unhappy about regrets and past mistakes that you made. There's something where you're suffering now. And it says also something about humbled by nightmares and bad dreams. Literally. Oh, that's horrible. What, what, humbled? It'll humble you too, yup. And then it also says here that you are experiencing extreme mental anguish. So some of you guys are feeling really bad right now, right? You can't sleep. Maybe you guys can't eat. But I feel like it's more of a fear about what is to come because you don't know what it is. Now, in terms of misrepresenting something, which is what Jim and I argued over here, like you misrepresented something. So... I go back and I say, why? Why are you in the Knight of Swords? Like, what is the core of the issue? Because this mentions some deep-rooted issues that you haven't dealt with. You let them sit there. You let them fester. You cover them up with this. You cover it up with that. And you don't fix it. So you stay in this energy, right? So I ask the question, why are you in the Knight of Swords? Like, what's the real reason? It says it's because of a Scorpio. It says something about you having a beef or a strife with a Scorpio's vanity. Something about thanklessness, meaning that suggests you stole something from Gemini or maybe you stole something from the Scorpio. I don't know. Thanklessness. Somebody gave you something, so you say, or you're not grateful enough for something, right? 
or maybe that's how you feel about this Scorpio for whatever, but it does say something about vanity. So this is vanity driven. Actually, this is nonsense. It says something about you being upset about Scorpio's independence or Gemini's independence. Somebody walked away from you. Yeah. Cynicism. <laughs> In any case, for Virgo, we also have we have the four of wands that comes up for you guys, right? So are some of you guys here, and I think this is why I think this might be why Gemini is pissed. This is <laughs> pissed. <laughs> it does say here, celebrating good fortune. Hold up, celebrating good fortune in a quiet way. So Virgo, you got the bag and didn't tell Gemini. You left Gemini broke. Ten of Pentacles reversed. They ain't got nothing while you over here celebrating quietly because you won something off of hating somebody else, right? So Gemini, if you didn't know that Virgo is hiding money, they are. It's right there. They got the bag or something like that. They just ain't telling you about it. So I told you. It says that Virgo's celebrating in a quiet way. And right now, and I want to say this to be, listen to what I'm saying. It says that Virgo has a positive public image right now. Positive public. That means what the public sees, right? That's what we see before us to the dot. Well, we know it's a family and friends here based off what I see that the truth, you don't been to 10, 20 doors saying, oh, let me borrow. You never paid them back. And then you went knocking at Gemini's door. With a false story. Some nonsense. Oh. And didn't tell the whole story about where it was coming from either. You didn't say nothing. Nor did Gemini ask. And I get that energy, right? So, yeah. The public looks at you publicly. But your inner circle, people who know. You know the people that know like that? They all know. And I feel like one of your fears is it's actually going to come out. Now, we do have the Empress energy, right? So some of you guys get into this Empress energy. And this is, that could be the good fortune that you're celebrating. This Empress energy. But for some of you guys, it's about nurturing. Empress is Empress. She's a mother figure. She is, this could be a mother figure. Huh. A mother figure. Something about a mother figure trying to create something. Somebody got pregnant. Or somebody got pregnant. Somebody got pregnant here. A mother figure got pregnant or something. I don't know how old you are. This literally could be somebody's mother that got pregnant. Say, I need you to raise this kid. Just take it. Act like it's a, a daughter. Yeah. Something like that. Or somebody's sister with something like that. You know what I'm saying, right? But we also see Empress card here. This is a mother figure. So I'm not going to downplay this, right? You guys go from Nine of Swords. And then you start celebrating your good fortune. I feel like you guys may have, some of you guys may have actually let go of the past in some situation. Some of you guys may not be able to celebrate something. Possibility you may not be able to celebrate something, but you still end up in this Empress energy. I feel like there's growth here, or some of you guys are literally pregnant. <laughs> That's so weird. <sighs> Let's see. Is there anything else I need to tell you? No. I'm going to get, I'm going to get the love cards because I don't know. I know there's nostalgic memories, but I'm not necessarily understanding it. Somebody's happy. It looks like Virgo is happy about this. Remember, Virgo walks away quietly with the bag while Gemini is broke. Virgo got the bag and didn't tell Gemini. The bag could be a baby. Unfortunately, I hate to refer to a baby as a bag, but you know, that's how it is. For some folk, I guess. I wouldn't like to call my kid a, oh bag but some bags are worth more than others I guess I don't know whatever I don't know I just give me love please give me love at the end of the day it looks like Virgo got the bag quietly right the common energy though the temperance card you guys need to have patience that something is going to work out it says that both you guys are not rushing to fix something like I'm not rushing to fix something I'm not going to rush to correct something so I'm not going to rush to correct something means that, I don't know, were you concealing information or there was never a set date in your head of when or something like that? Give me love for this couple, Gemini. You deserve love. You are lovable. Gemini, the cards are saying that you deserve love and you're lovable. 
there's something with a soulmate here. Yes, this is your soulmate. Maybe you guys are made for each other. And you want to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Uh-oh. Keep an open mind. It still seems like you're closed-minded. Somebody might be your soulmate, or maybe you feel like they are, but you're scared to give them a chance. Oh, got it. Hang on, guys. Put that there. Virgo, give me your energy, please. Oh, that was fast. Deception. I believe that you're deceiving me. <laughs> you ain't telling me the truth. Ooh, child. Um, you guys could have a Virgo saying, Gemini, you deceived them. You lied. You said this story could be completely reversed. Can a soulmate express your love? Now I was trying to kick it to a soulmate. This person wasn't your usual type in expectations. <laughs> the Virgo energy is coming out saying they feel like they're being deceived. <laughs> I think that, I don't know. I feel like you, they might be trying to put it on you. Somebody, I was at somebody didn't tell that they were married or something like that. This situation involves a marriage. Hmm. All right. I think somebody lied. Virgo, you might have lied about a marriage or lied and said you were married or something. Mm -hmm. There's deception. You lied about a marriage. The wedding is reversed here. So this is a fake marriage, something having to do with children. Your love life is uh, being infected by children. Some of you guys feel like your children are getting in the way of your love life. Or maybe you got twins that came recently. Something like that. Some of you, some of you guys feel like you got hit by the okie talk. <laughs> Honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday, holiday bliss of time together. So I feel like you guys are going to find some common ground here. But it says that nobody's willing to go too, too, too fast to work on it. Whatever that's about. That was the weirdest story. I'm going to get a conversation to see if I can make this make sense. Because this one is weird. <laughs> Take out of it what you can. This is so weird. Well, this is my... What? Last one for Earth set? So... I'm at 30 minutes. Give me a conversation. <clears throat> Somebody's fertility is in question. This children card keeps coming up, right? So we got children that come up, and then we have somebody's heredity, paternity, paternity is questionable, right? So somebody could have, somebody could be suspecting that a child or children are not theirs. You ain't my kid, something like that, or somebody's trying to hide it. I'm captured by your beauty. I am not captured by your beauty. There's a possibility that Gemini is not really feeling how you look, Virgo. One moment. <laughs> oh. I miss you, but I lie to myself. I don't miss you. I want you to stay far away. I ain't lying to myself. No more about you. Give me more. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're the one. Okay. One more. I'm afraid of you. I don't know how. I, I feel like the Gemini is not necessarily sure on who you are, what you do, what you represent. I feel like there's a lot of red flags in a sense. The cards didn't the cards did not pull red flag, but that's what I'm getting here. I don't see any commitment to it just yet. I feel like there might be a little bit more looking, probing, trying to make sure A and B add up or something like that. Virgo, give me your energy. What do you have to say to Gemini in this relationship? You can't convince me. Give me more. Virgo, what do you have to say? And you can't convince me. I don't deserve you. I can't trust you. I can trust you. Virgo's still saying that they can trust you. They still feel like they can trust you. Came out reverse. I'm lo I'm I'm found something like that. I don't know what this means. Give me the comment energy. One more message. Hold on. I don't adore you. I feel like there's some mixed energy, mixed feelings. I don't know. I don't get total nothing. I feel like somebody's hiding something. I feel like first of all, I feel like Gemini, you got wiped out. Somebody took your money out and they came to you with some crap reason of why they had to do something. This caused some kind of chaos and conflict in your family or theirs. Whatever this is about. There's something with feelings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sparks. 
show me Gemini, please show me Gemini. That reading is done, guys. Matter of fact, let me get rid of this. Hold up. Just give me a second while I. Somebody feels like they're being deceived. You can't put your fingers on it. I believe if you feel like you're being deceived nine times out of ten, I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. You have this Leo energy who's getting in between here, right? First of all, you guys are in agreement that something needs to be dealt with in a certain way. or But you guys are not willing to move on. If this is about somebody's identity. This is about that card that comes up, kids. Right? So somebody's trying to conceal something about a kid. Somebody's having nostalgic memories. Something about a friend and associate back in the day. And you reconnected with this person. You took a trip or you were somewhere, you celebrated with this person again. And that's when the scheme came up. The scheme had to do with some kind of a property, home repairs, something like that. Where that's how the money was laundered, something like that. All right. So this is about a paternity. This is about an empress energy. Notice somebody's cursing and swearing at the empress. Over a kid. This is not folly, but tell me what I need to know, please. Let me, all right, that was fast. Gemini, a man-made disaster. Something wasn't man-made. Some, something wasn't, it was not man-made. It looks like it was a natural disaster for you. It says here, depopulation. Something about depopulating the earth. Whatever that's about. More old school. Some of you guys are going to renew your thinking or have an updated belief or idea about something. It's going to be new. It's going to be innovative for some of you. Like I would never entertain that. For some of you guys, you might just come across something. Virgo, sex. I don't know. You may have turned down sex with Gemini. Some of you guys got turned down. Or Gemini turned your sex down. Ooh, a parental figure. It's really funny because the mother figure comes up. A parental figure could have rejected a an empress? I rejected your sex. Somebody went to somebody's parent and said, I want to have sex or something like that. So parental, parental figure. Sex is reversed, which is a rejection. There's an empress energy here. But there's also issues with paternity. And the other children card came up in a love read. So something about a somebody's kid. somebody's kid like give me more communication somebody's receiving communication or some communication is coming in from a parental figure or there's been communication to a parental figure this is about a bioweapon that maybe didn't work mm. Predictive programming. Somebody may have been doing some predictive programming work, watching what you do, whatever. The recording it, whatever. Legal proceedings. Something was being recorded for legal proceedings in a bioweapons case or something like that. I feel like somebody wanted this to stay quiet. Somebody's at a crossroad about a situation having to do with a child. How do I deal with this? How do I handle this? We also have uh, somebody's afraid to be exposed over a matter. Somebody who we thought was a good guy is going to turn out to be a bad guy. The good guy is reversed here. They're not having any success in the situation. Something gets solved. Whatever this is about for you. I'm going to let you guys go. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. I love you guys. This one was a little weird. Sorry about that. Love you. Bye.